The first two videos on volumes of solids looked at the prism and the pyramid. This follows on from these. It will involve composite shapes, but we'll also bring in the sphere here as a new shape. So this is a like a, a ball of any sort, a ping pong ball, that sort of thing. It's got a radius that's from the centre to any point on the surface. And the volume is given by this formula, 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we're going to have questions involving the sphere together with questions involving the prism and the pyramid, including cylinder and cone. So here's an example. There's a cylinder here. Cylinders diameter 12, height 20. On each end is a hemisphere. That's half a sphere. So two half spheres make up one whole sphere. So the volume here consists of one sphere and one cylinder. And you want them out separately and add them together. You can use pi off the calculator and get a decimal. I'm going to leave them as multiples of pi. There's a worksheet you can get if you click the link in the description. And the answers will be with it and they'll be there as multiples of pi. So the answers will be there as multiples of pi rather than the decimals. So this first one, you've got the two hemispheres making one whole sphere. The formula is V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. R's the radius. If you look at the hemisphere in the bottom here, its diameter is 12, so its radius is 6. You just replace R as 6. And you're cubing it, so you're multiplying by itself three times. You can put 4 thirds in as a fraction in the calculator. Or you can write it as I've done here, 4 divided by 3. And again, you can put in 6 cubed in the calculator, or as I've done it here, just written the multiplication as the three numbers being multiplied. I'm going to leave this as a multiple of pi, so I'm going to get 6 times 6 times 6 times the 4 and divide it by 3, and leave it as a multiple of pi. It's 288 pi, so that's the exact answer. Similar with the cylinder, V equals pi r squared h. R is 6 and the height is 20. You put these figures in. 6 times 6 times 20 is a multiple of pi. It's 720 pi. So these are the two exact answers. You add them together and you get 1008 pi. That's the exact answer. 1008 pi cubic centimetres. If you wanted a decimal, you could just then press the SD button in the calculator and turn 1008 pi into a decimal. That could easily be non calculated and the answer 1008 pi. The answers on the worksheet, which you can get access to if you click the link in the description, will leave the answers as multiples of pi. And a second example this is a cone with a hemisphere stuck on top, so it's half a sphere. This say uh, height of the sphere 6 is simply the radius. So height 6 meant it was 6 in radius because from this where the centre of the whole sphere would be out to the surface is 6. And then there's a cone and it's got the same uh, radius as this hemisphere. So the radius of the hemisphere was 6, that's the radius of the cone, 6. So it simply comes from this 6 here. So you've got a cone, radius 6, height 15, V equals a third pi r squared h. That was in the second video. And you've got the sphere, which is new to this video, V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So for the hemisphere, you can either get 4 thirds pi r cubed and divide by 2, or simply use 2 thirds pi r cubed. That's half of 4 thirds pi r cubed. So, you've got 4 thirds pi r cubed divided by 2, you could therefore have that 4 turn into 2 thirds and do it that way. So, there's a 4 thirds pi r cubed and you half it. That's the equivalent of the exact values of 144 pi. I've put it here as a decimal. The cone v equals a third pi r squared h, with r being 6 and h being 15. Again, you can slot it into the calculator. You can get it as a decimal of the calculator. 
If you want an exact answer, 180 pi, but that's it, it's a decimal. You're adding the two bits together. So that's same added together. And if you did it as multiples of pi, it's 324 pi. But that's it's a decimal and it can round off after that. That's three significant figures. Now notice, if rounding only round at the very end, the last stage, don't round in between. It knocks your answer out if you do. So that's two examples on using a sphere, which is new, but the rest of it is in the first two videos, prisms and uh, cones, pyramids, things like that. So it's going to be these formulae used There'll be one worksheet which will be straightforward. It's just what was in the first two videos, prisms, pyramids, cones, that sort of thing. And bring in the sphere and the hemisphere. So all that's been done in previous videos except the sphere. And I'll have answers with it. And then there's a second worksheet which is composites. So various sorts of composites, and the answers will be given as multiples of pi. So two worksheets, if you click the link in the description, you'll get access to them. The first one, pretty straightforward questions, and they'll be the answers. I've given them both as a multiple of pi here and the decimal. The other ones are working out exactly anyway because they don't involve uh, spheres or cylinders. So. Second worksheet, it's more difficult. All composites. So you've got hemispheres, cylinders, cones, hemispheres taken away from hemispheres, a cylinder with two hemispheres missing, and I'll have the answers as multiples of pi. As a set of notes using the same link covering all in volume. The next video will be looking at these volume formulae and what happens if you change one of the dimensions, like double the radius, double the height, that sort of thing. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you.